And our Live at Five weather this afternoon, Marcus mentioned that the International Space Station is going to be coming over tonight about mm -hmm. 7, 7 or something like that. I wanted to know if I stood in my front yard and waved or maybe had a fly side or whatever, could they see my house from Yeah, there? of course they could. Hello, sure. blink your lights. Say, say no? hello. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. Santa you Claus might be never up there know. too. Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mess that up for me. <laughs> no. All right. Hey, don't, don't mess it up for Neil, okay? If you see him out there, it's all good. <laughs> hey, let's talk, blend in. talk about the heat. The heat is going to build back in. Yeah, we've had warm temperatures the last couple of days. Today was the first day we had more areas closer to 90 degrees. And as this ridge of high pressure builds into Texas, especially on Saturday, I think a run at the low to mid 90s is very possible here in East Texas for us, especially in our west northwest counties where the air will still remain fairly dry compared to deep East Texas. Got some high clouds already beginning to move in for tonight. Very nice view from our long view tower cam of the sun beginning to go down. The sun will set this evening at 6. 58 right now into the mid 80s. A couple of areas like Gilmer still holding on to 89. We've got a pair of eights in center and in Lufkin, Palestine at 86 degrees. You will be able to see the International Space Station fly over this evening. That will take place at 739. You'll want to look 10 miles to the northwest. Give it a little wave. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. You never know what may happen. It's only going to last for about seven minutes. 11 miles to the southeast is when it will clear. We'll look for a mostly clear sky with temperature into the 70s. Want to jump right ahead to tomorrow. You may see a few of these passing puffy fair weather cumulus clouds. Otherwise, it is a warmer day. We should peak in the low 90s. I think a couple of areas 92, 93 or even 94. Not out of the question. The breeze a little stronger tomorrow. Southwest at 10, but the air is still remaining very dry. Point your attention to the weekend on Saturday. We've got increasing humidity, but on Sunday more humidity humidity and a risk for some strong thunderstorms. Portions of East Texas, at least in the isolated risk for some severe weather. Let me show you how Futurecast is going to play that out. This is Saturday afternoon. Breezy southerly wind, mostly sunny skies, no problem. We jump to Sunday morning. We've got a lot of clouds moving in, so it's humid to start on Sunday. Most of the day Sunday should be just fine. It's Sunday evening, Sunday night. That line of storms beginning to develop. I think the risk for some stronger storms will be from I-20 up to the north into the northwest mostly west of Highway 259. But as the storms move in, they gradually begin to fall apart. That cold front also falls apart, too, because we're going right back to the humidity into the day Tuesday. Tuesday features a partly cloudy sky, but our next best rain chance, probably more area wide, looks to pick up on Wednesday. We'll see some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms by then as well. This is not going to be widespread. This is not a multiple inch of rain event for everybody, but we will get the opportunity for rain. It's specifically though Sunday night into Monday where we could have a few gusty thunderstorms with that greater risk north of the Red River. There's your seven day forecast highs into the lower 90s. We'll come down to the 80s when we get these showers around Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. Deep East Texas similar forecast. Just look for the humidity to increase a lot more into the weekend. Students bullying